um, yeah, so that's when I started wa uh, walking and did not know how this will all unfold. I planned two years for it. You know, when you sit at home and you make all the planning and you think, oh, it's two years, 25 kilometers per day from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. I wasn't ready for the Arctic. I thought, oh, that's too wild. All these big animals there, the wolves and the grizzlies, and um, I didn't feel comfortable with it. And then I started walking and within my walk, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I'm doing the Arctic Ocean. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, Malo. Uh, and uh, so I went all the way to the Arctic Ocean and then the pandemic hit um, while I was walking uh, the Alaska Highway into the Yukon. So uh, I entered the Yukon during the pandemic. Um, can I give a... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, and yeah, so, okay, basi so basically uh, the plan changed. So, so, how so, uh, so yeah, I, I started um, making the decision <coughs> going to uh, the Arctic Ocean as well. And, um, and then the pandemic hit, which was very surreal for me being on the trail, hearing about this pandemic, thinking, oh, that will pass soon. But it didn't. It went on for two years. So uh, I did the Yukon uh, portion and then had to wait uh, 1.5 years to be able to actually go the last 400 kilometers to the Arctic Ocean uh, because non-essential travel was not allowed in the Northwest Territory. So I, I, uh, um, I, I, I continued my journey this, this year in April and finished uh, May 5th to the, to the Arctic Ocean, which was like a huge milestone for me. And then, um, came down here uh, outside of Edmonton, Fort Saskatchewan, the trail goes to, uh, to, the, to the west. That's where I went to and then continued the journey to make it to Clover Point. <laughs> and that's today. Yeah, so. One point that I heard is that 